you're if you're the hand model, I kind of figured that you would have the best hands out of out of all of us. I have us. great hands, that was, <laughs> not great fingernails, so it's fine. I mean, functionally, functionally they work. They work. They work. They're kind of like these mice. Aesthetically, we may need to touch them up in post <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah. we'll punch them up in That's post. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Hello, this is Close to the Metal. This is our weekly podcast where we go in depth with computing and anything that we wanted to associated with that. Today's show is about. Gaming mice, and is, and specifically the ten dollar ones, because you always see the deals on there. I mean, I personally lean towards buying the uh, cheaper mice, but do they actually work? Are they functional? We've got a bunch of different ones. We're going to show you today. We're going to talk about them. We're going to kind of go go in depth with those, and then we're going to compare those to maybe some of the really high end mm-hmm. ones. Uh, the main thing is, while we're broadcasting this live on YouTube, we want to get your comments, your questions. If you're listening to the podcast afterward, you can always email podcast at digitaltrends.com. But we want to know your thoughts. We're going to kind of go through the let you know what we found with each one of them. Uh, I'm Greg Nibbler, and to my right, as usual, Brad Burke and Matt Smith. And Matt Smith. All right, so Brad is going to be our hand model, I think, for the first for the first section here as we go into these these mice. And we've got four different specific ones that we're going to talk about right off the bat, and they all have pretty amazing names. Um, do we want to just go down the list here, Matt, that you've created? Maybe start well, off with let's, the... Let's, uh, let's first just like talk about w- like why these are here Okay. Real quick. And this <laughs> is to say, this. like, so we do a lot of like best ofs and stuff and like uh-huh. a lot of comparisons. You're going to defend the selection. We were looking at best gaming mice, right? And, yeah. And like, it's always cur- interesting to see like, what are people actually like buying whenever you, you do some of these best ofs? Um, and like we were looking at Amazon and we're looking at the bestseller list and you know like when we review mice we get review units from like the names you might recognize like Logitech mm-hmm. and Razer stuff like that but they were like pretty much none of those were on there i think there was like one Razer and like one Logitech and it was like this long list of like $10 mouse $10 mouse $10 mouse $10 mouse and like some absurd number of reviews like you know, 3,500 reviews. Based on like, a $10 mouse. And, and it would be like four, four and a half stars. It's really like, okay, like, clearly people are buying these. So what exactly do, like, are these people just, like, buying it and then being, like, kind of like, yeah, it's, it's totally fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or, like, is it actually totally fine? Or is it falling uh, apart <laughs> within, you know, a week of using yeah, it? Yeah, so we bought some. We, we got uh, four $10, about $10 mice. So these are the contestants here. Um... And actually, um, so three of these are nine dollars. Oh, okay. Bargains. Yeah, so a little right. bit under budget. That's ten percent under your budget, which is a big deal. Save the DT three bucks. You, know, you right can there. go buy yourself a can of soda. Uh, and that starts with the tech, the TechNet Raptor. The TechNet so, Raptor. I gotta say, for the cheaper ones, they still go with the with the names that are that are pretty impressive. This one a is TechNet um, Raptor. So this one's pretty popular, if I okay. recall right. Now, um, and if nice, you're watching live, nice we do have a here. kind of a close-up look at this. Uh, if you're listening via podcast, we'll have all of these posted up uh, with links so you can see where, what yes, we're talking about. Yes, this is the famous TechNet Raptor, which is available in five different right. colors. Okay. Uh, it's one of the best sellers on Amazon. Uh, it's got 929 reviews, well, 4.5 stars. That is that is pretty famous right there. So there you go. That's the TechNet Raptor. Okay, so what do you get with the TechNet Raptor? Why is this one uh, coming out on, on top so much? Why is it getting four well, and a half I, stars? I will say that it's got these, you know, this texturing all over it where it's got these, like, ridges on the back. Uh-huh. But it's it's a very comfortable mouse. It's a pretty it, big it mouse. Actually is, it's pretty big, but... This is predominantly um, for gaming. Mm-hmm. But like this, it's got like I don't know. It's just got nice parts on it. Like it's got a, a good scroll wheel that I'm digging. <laughs> it's got a scrolly wheel. The textures, it's got the textures are kind of you know. It helps you kind of like figure out where you are on the mouse without mm-hmm. having to look down. You know, and so you you would buttons. say that the texture is definitely an added bonus on this. Yeah, one. I like it. Um, okay, you know, the grip, some... good firm, good grip. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm not quite so much a fan of this one. Um, I think that the, like, I just don't... What is it that bothers you about this? Well, I think something that's different from this one from the other ones we're going to look at is, like, this. I feel like the way the plastics feel mm-hmm. is, like, this one's a little bit like that glossier plastic you sort of associate with cheap toys, I feel like. Sure, okay. And the other ones, we'll see, have a little bit of a different, like, fine texture. Uh, this has, like, all these, like, little grooves and stuff, um, but it just feels kind of cheap, and it feels kind of hollow. Okay. Me, like when I pick it up, uh, so this this isn't really one of my favorites, but I do have to agree that it is uh, it's pretty comfortable. So okay, so you are not a fan of the texture, or you are a fan. of I'm the not texture. a fan of the texture. Not a fan of the texture. No. Okay, so definitely a difference of opinion on that. Um, something to point out about all of these that we noticed right off the bat is that they all have braided cables. 
Mm -hmm. This is something that, like, it used to be even in the last few years was a feature that you saw only on higher end mice. Right, you had to pay a and lot. A lot of other that. ones, yeah, you got a rubber cable. Um, and the braided cable is obviously much better, but um, all of these showed up with them, which was kind of a surprise. Uh, and a couple of them even have these gold plated connectors, which, you know, don't really mean much yeah. except for, you know, rust or whatever, you know, protecting it from mm -hmm. corrosion over time. It's a status symbol, though. It is a status symbol, um, but it, it's just noting that they, I think, that they put these Yeah, I mean, like, on. you still get, like, press releases <laughs> from. You know, bigger companies will be like, "We've got a braided cable on our mouth." Ooh, you know, and it's like actually, uh, these these all have it, and you know, they feel pretty good quality. So that's not really so much an issue anymore. So that's the TechNet yeah. Raptor that um, we're talking about first here. Okay, so we're so going we'll go through that. to the next one. Um, this one's funny uh, to me because it doesn't it doesn't seem to actually have a name. Uh, it's the Zelotes. Is that is that how you pronounce that? I just want to make we were sure. We talking about this. We had a few different uh, conversations about. Yeah. It. So if somebody knows, it's it's Z E L O T E S. We're actually trying to figure out how to pronounce the company's name. Yeah, uh, that's that's the Zelotes. Don't know. And and the name, Zelotes. Does it have a name on the bottom here? Actually, uh, no. It's it's called the Zelotes Optical Mouse for the game. And okay. I think they were going for for the win there. Yeah. They probably, <laughs> but could they not just use it? Maybe like, is there some kind of trademark on that? Maybe. Or I think that might be it like EV, it's like EVGA. Because I know EVGA have... uses like an FTW version of stuff, but I, I don't know. I, I mean, like I've seen Hall of Fame cards, and you can't like, you know, you can't trademark Hall of Fame. So maybe it's okay. Maybe they did though. Yeah. But regardless, it is. It does say for the game. For the game. Uh, yeah. And on Amazon, it's just is this listed as the Zelotes 5500 DPI seven button and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. So it doesn't have a name. Seven buttons though. It does have. T so one of the really neat ones about this mouse, I was using this for a while, is that this little guy right here, it has to the left of the left click, there's a little mini button that's a double click. So you got a bonus button. This is towards the top, uh, uh, towards the front mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. of the mouse. On the left hand side, there's a bonus button. And it's that just does a quick little double click, so you can. You know, oh, that's that. what it is. It's a double click. It's button? a double click button, so you can, if you want to open an icon without hitting it twice, or you want to, you know, okay, double click that is something. Great. Yeah, bam. And again, it if you're just tuning in here, we're going through the uh, $10 mice, kind of taking a look at all, all of these that you can find on Amazon. These are the top sellers that are out there. We're kind of looking at them. Why are they top sellers? If you have questions, feel free to ask, and then we'll go into some other things, maybe some more higher-end ones after this. So we're looking at the Zelotes. We'll just say, I'll just say that's how it's pronounced. We should say it different every time. We should, uh, I think. So uh, so this, this, one, this one is $9. It's $9. Two. $9. And house. this one has uh, 1,967 reviews that on is, Amazon. Four stars out of five. Um, and yeah, it's I, I'd say th like Brad was talking about buttons and like the buttons is actually like kind of the highlight here because again nine dollar mouse and like you've got all this stuff going on. You know, you got this here, you got these two here. Talking about the, you got the double click button. You've you got, got, two got a DPI on the side. switch button that's really obvious. Which I think these all have DPI switch yeah. buttons, but this one is a little more so obvious than DPI the DPI switch button in the center. Um, um, although although. They don't, at least this one doesn't have any software for it. So there isn't any sort of reprogramming or settings or anything like that. It's just that you hit the DPI button to cycle through like five presets. Mm -hmm. okay. um, it does have RGB LEDs in it, which is also for a $9 mouse is kind of a surprise. Um, but you can, again, you can't really change those in your settings or anything. You, there's actually sort of this weird combination of holding down buttons until the lights change. Until <laughs> it gets the color you want. You need to know the secret passcode. Yeah, there's literally, yeah, it's like a little thing to like you have to hold mouse. down combinations. Um, um, yeah, but I mean, like, it's it's interesting to have that many buttons. Okay, and this uh, is $9? Uh, yeah. $9, and, $9 on Amazon. And it, it's also like the biggest, another thing to mention, it's the biggest mouse here. So if you got big hands, you know, that might be what the, you go for. Now, the Zelot Zelotes. We'll uh, move on here to the one. I think this is the most popular one. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. This is, an, and the, again, this Magic is $9. Cool. So we're going through each one of these. Can we take a look at which one? This is the Habit HV MS672. Very catchy name. It has one. Habit HV MS672. Yeah, and it's got 2,420 reviews on Amazon, four out of five stars. How many reviews? 2,420 reviews? Yes. That is um, insane. So very, very popular mouse. Uh, and it is also, I think it might be called the Magic Eagle because it says that, <laughs> on, but it doesn't. Yeah, it is the Magic Eagle gaming mouse. It's not. I would love to be in the really naming true. department um, for these. Just wanted to point out something we noticed too about the packaging uh, is it says on the enjoy what I have. Uh, Let's go ahead and, oh, is it to, no, there, there we go. go. Yeah, the packaging the does packaging say, so their tagline is enjoy what I have. Enjoy what I have. Not really sure if that's like the mouse 
talking to you or is if there's something in there you is there have a... this mouse now and so you should enjoy it i feel it. like that's something you would expect if you got a package from adam and eve dot com <laughs> and you just slide open the thing not maybe there's so more much, to this mouse than we know I not mean, so much for the gaming mouse but the magic eagle you know maybe Enjoy maybe they had some spare packaging left over and they were like yeah sure we'll use it whatever sure yeah um i so, mean so this I, I think the reason this one might sell so much is because it's like the most garish yeah of it the does, <laughs> it is it's really gamery it, it really is uh, like magic yeah. And and like when you when you actually plug it in, these it does have RGB LED. So this like pulses different colors. It's like a really expensive like razor mouse does. So it's got like some some lightning. It's got the decoration. On. It's got like a lightning barbed wire kind of yeah. motif thing going. It's actually um, it's really reminiscent of uh, like some very expensive razor mice. Like okay. they had these molten edition ones. Do you yeah. remember those? And they had like these special patterns in them. And like this is very reminiscent of that sort of design. Um, the scroll wheel is kind of weak on this one. Now, it yeah, really, like it's really <laughs> loose. Like it sort of just keeps going after you're done. Yeah, and let's again. This is the most popular one we have. So let's talk about the fact that I think this is probably the worst one we have. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so the Magic Eagle, you are, you are giving uh, it a Despite the fact down. that about 2,500 people have reviewed this very favorably on Amazon, um, it kind of has a problem in that it has like this really prominent ridge. <laughs> Like kind of Towards like sharp back. ridge right where you put your hand, right where your palm, and it's go. really uncomfortable. Um, and so, this is maybe an example of like one of the downsides you can get when you're trying to, to buy a nine dollar uh, mouse. Right, you're gonna have your hand on that for a long time. You want to have a, a yeah, comfortable you, grip. you don't know exactly what you're getting. Um, so appearance wise, this sometimes is definitely... you might get something that's not quite so nice. Um, but I mean, like, it still does have like seven. Yeah, it's got six buttons. Uh, it's got six buttons. It's got RGB uh, LED lighting. Um, you know, braided cable. A lot mm-hmm. of the usual stuff. Again, uh, nine bucks. So maybe the ridge is what you're supposed to enjoy. What it has. That's I guess the, it's ridge for your pleasure. Up. Yes, ridge. Yeah, it's had to go there. We'll just leave uh, that there. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? I was wrong. This is actually the most popular one by far. Okay, so um, moving on though. This is the another one that we're going to look at now. Yes. Yeah, so, so okay, so moving on from the Have It Magic Eagle. Which uh, is uh, looks fancy, looks pretty amazing, but it has the ridge, and Matt does not like the ridge, so mm-hmm. we know that now about Matt. Um, now we're getting on to the <laughs> last one here that we've got. Yes. So supposedly the most popular. I'm not quite sure how to say this one either. I got to say the the branding might be a little bit off. So it's R E D R A G O N. Do you pronounce that Red Dragon? I think it's Red Dragon. I'm going to just Red Dragon. It's Red Dragon. But it's not it is Red, Red Dragon. I think you got to run it together. Dragon. Yeah, run it together a little more. It's a Red, Red Dragon. Dragon. Red Dragon. <laughs> or Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Uh, M601. Okay, Red Dragon. Centrophorus. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so that's this is the the Red Dragon mm-hmm. Central. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so this has 4,120 reviews on Amazon.com. 4.5 out of 5 stars. This one is $14. Okay. okay. $14 so, mic. So that's that's a, a lot of reviews. That that's a big price jump, this. you know, over these other ones. Like that's <laughs> that's yeah. like what, 40% more? So I mean, you do have to assume that you're going for cheap. I mean, if uh, in this. so <laughs> $9, I mean, that's almost double the cost. Yeah, yeah. We're looking at. So you know, you might wonder what you're getting with this one and uh this is I use this one a lot because it was my favorite uh in terms of features there's not really a lot there, is there? Like, so what do we have with the Red Dragon? I mean, we've got uh, the standard buttons on the side. I, we have the DPI button there in the center. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, got a DPI button. Yeah. Got it, a scroller. It lights up red. No double Just click red. button. Lights up red. No, no yeah. So <laughs> no RGB LEDs. Lights up red. All right. So that's a button. Um, these light up to these little side pieces here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, it is um, the most comfortable mouse, I think. At least for me. I don't I, know. What do you think, Brad? Like, I, I don't find this one to be that comfortable, but I also have, like, big hands. So I just sort of, like, even when I'm holding it like this, my fingers are kind of, like, already getting around over the edge. Mm-hmm. So I have to be, like, sitting really far back on yeah. it. I actually, I think the, the Zelotes is probably my favorite for most comfortable. The Zelotes is pretty nice, too. Um, um, I, I like this one. Uh, I've used it a lot, and it feels yeah, pretty comfortable can, in my hand. You can but... tell he's used it a lot because the paint is starting to come off. Yeah, the, so uh, there's there's maybe one use. of the quality <laughs> issues that you have with some of these cheaper mice. Yeah, the paint is starting to. Uh, I explain. It's, it's not thing. coming off. It's not. It's not like there's not paint there. It's just. It's a different shade. It's mm-hmm. worn in a little bit. Okay? Sure. Like it's a know. heat map, so you know where you're clicking. It's like is it's like, like a good pair of jeans. You know. <laughs> right. You, you wanna just, you gotta get it. You gotta wear it. Yeah. 
It's uh, well loved. At least it's not like gray plastic coming through through black paint, so it's like slowly changing <laughs> colors as you're using it. So so this is the Red Dragon M601. Yeah, and, so and another Centrophorus. thing um, we <laughs> noticed about this one is that we're pretty sure that Acer Predator gaming desktops come with like this exact same mouse. With so they're just colors. marketing it under a different name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's very, very, will, very similar. Which wouldn't surprise us. Like, we know actually that um, with, like, PC cases, like, a lot of PC cases uh, get reproduced under different names. Mm-hmm. Um, some of, we've heard in private conversations from some of the smaller manufacturers that they get really mad about this because they will make a case design and then they send it off to the factory <laughs> And to get made, and then like a year later, they'll find out that factory is producing their design for another company. <laughs> <laughs> so like, even though it's their intellectual property, the factory's like, this looks nice. Hey, yeah, hey, that's really good. We should shop this around. Um, so you know, like that's it's totally something that happens. Uh, hey, and if they did do that. I mean, kind of good on them because they went and looked at Amazon and said, like, where are their good reviews for mice that are cheap? And they found this one. There's, like, mm-hmm. thousands of reviews. People like it, so throw it in our box. If you're going well, you to put in a cheap gaming mouse, you could definitely do worse. Well, I, I think it says a lot about what the technology behind it, the fact that they can sell it for this cheap. And obviously, they're making a profit on it. I mean, I don't know what the profit margin is, but there's not a whole lot of expensive technology that goes into these. No, like, that's something to mention. I'm pretty sure these are all... Uh, um, optical yeah. mm-hmm. sensors. So, like, if you know much about gaming and mice, you know that, like, the high-end gaming and mice have kind of they've gone into laser sensors. Mm-hmm. And laser sensors can be more precise. They also tend to work better on a variety of surfaces. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Logitech, in particular, is, like, very boastful about its technologies in that regard where you can use them on pretty much anything. And they'll work. These, you know, maybe not so much. They've got the little red dot sensor. But that's the but great thing about it, though, for $9 or $14. You know, you use it for a year or something. Yeah. It runs out. It wears out. Yeah, that's not that bad. So we're taking a look here at the $10 yeah, mice. I'm going through this. We've looked at four so far. And we do, if you're watching and you have opinions on these mice, if you have a very hardcore opinion about the uh, Zelotes or the TechNet Raptor, or I'm a Raptor person. I hate Zelotes. You know, go ahead and let us know. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I would like to hear from the... The uh, partisans I'm of pro, the I'm ten dollar gaming mice. I have a red dragon tattoo. I, like I'm that sure is my how there. I identify. Uh, you know, let us know what you think. But so we're going through each each one of these. These are the top sellers on Amazon. Huge reviews, and everybody seems to be buying these. Now, are these are these actually any good? Are they are they good mice? Do you want to get into that? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so, cool. so I mean, you can get these for cheap. Are they actually going to work, or you, you know, what, what do you think, here, Brad? Well, I think one of the biggest things about mice that makes it hard, especially to review them, is that a lot of choosing a mice has to do with comfort and game choice. Okay. That that really like like Matt said, he really likes how this one feels. I don't like how this one feels at all. And the only way that we're going to find out whether you like a mouse or not is to use it. You really have to put a hand on it. And the advantage here is that you don't have to spend 50, 60 bucks on a mouse. You can buy a few of them for less than that and try them out. And you could probably return, you know, you could probably buy a bunch of razor mice and return the ones you don't like. But, you know, you could also yeah. pick these up for 10 bucks and just see, like, hey, if it doesn't work out, like you're saying, if it breaks, yeah, no big deal. You're at 10 bucks. Um, yeah. So, I, you know, I think for people who are just trying to play some games and don't want to spend a whole lot, you know, I think these are fine. You're not going to complain, I don't think. So this is a good way to find out what kind of a mouse you like. Yeah. What, what yeah. you like for a feel of the mouse. So physically. Yeah, you can use it for a while and like, oh, it out. turns out you actually feel like you really need more buttons here. So you can go get that $40, $60 yeah. mouse. And I think fine is kind of like the operative word here. It's like, they're fine. Like, surprisingly fine. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like... When you get really into PC hardware, you can easily get caught up on, you know, certain specs and certain mm-hmm. features. But, you know, like, the fact is any of these mice, like, if you go play a game of Overwatch or you go play a game of uh, Civilization or whatever, like, these are these are fine. Like, they're going to do the job. You will point the thing over the other thing and you will click and a thing will happen in your game. They will work. And, <laughs> and, you know, and that's the purpose of a mouse, and these mice do that job. And they're certainly sensitive enough, you know, for most purposes. You know, like a lot of uh, higher-end mice will have these super sensitive sensors. Mm-hmm. But something that get, gets pointed out in reviews a lot of times is that you can't use those, really. Like, most people can't use those because you turn them up too high, and then, like, you go, like, you just 
tiny little movement and your cursor goes flying across the screen. Yeah. And that's fine if you're like a pro gamer that's like wants to have the most aggressive reaction time possible, but um, for most people, it's totally not necessary. So, so these this is what we're looking at then for that. So the, you're saying these are these are fine. They're these fine. Are fine to yeah. use. Yeah, and uh, but it's about finding the right feel for it. Mm-hmm. Functionally, they work. These are all the ones that are ten dollars, really nine to fourteen dollars that you can find on Amazon that we're taking a look at. And the nice thing is too, like when I recommend mice to people and keyboards to people, I often do recommend gaming keyboards and mice, even if they're not a gamer, mm-hmm. because they don't tend to be more expensive, and you tend to get a lot better feature set out of anywhere between ten and a hundred dollars out of a mouse than you do out of a consumer branded mouse. Like they're just not going to give you the same feature set unless you get to that higher level. Um, at least from what I've seen, that like you, if you're going to spend thirty dollars on a mouse, it might as well be a gaming mouse. Well, bringing up higher level, let's mm-hmm. take a look at that because we do have some of the higher end mice here, just to find a, uh, you know, show a comparison to what this is. Aesthetically, yeah. I mean, they all look kind of the same, except for yeah, one let's, over let's here. Get we'll show two, you in a minute. Let's get but, these two side yeah. by side. So okay, so because we're they're, right they're now, pretty the, similar in size. So this is the Red Dragon and the Rocat uh, Kova. So the Rocat Kova is a much higher end. Mm-hmm. Uh, a mouse. Yeah, let me and go look at what it is selling for and, and, right this moment. And okay, one thing we'll about the... this is it's ambidextrous. Okay. Um, so we've got buttons, uh, two buttons on each side, plus you got these little wing buttons out here. I mean, so that's fifty dollars. That's nice that it's ambidextrous, but really, are you going to buy a, a mouse that you're going to be sharing with other people? I mean, are you just gonna well? But I mean, for left-handed buyers, it actually is a problem because finding a left-handed because mouse. especially like this is probably the only one of these mice that's like somewhat left-handed. The uh, TechNet, okay, and even that doesn't have buttons the on the right side. So if you're a left-hander, you're kind of out of luck there. Okay, um, these so, other ones. Like you can't really use this with your left hand, you know, this Elodie's it's too yeah. it's too sculpted. Okay. So we're comparing <clears> then so the Red Dragon, ten dollar, fourteen dollar mouse versus this Rocat Kova and how much was it, Matt? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for this mouse. So what are you getting for fifty dollars that you can't get for fourteen dollars? Well, um <laughs> Right off the bat right off question. the bat I will say it feels a lot like it feel- sturdier. The plastic feels heftier, it feels so you the, can drop it and it won't break. The yeah. quality, I, I don't, I mean, I wouldn't even say that. I mean, like, reliability can be a big question with any mouse. But I would say, like, it feels nicer in the hand, yeah. Like, these plastics have a sort of a, a, like, somewhat fine texture. This one feels a little rough and sandpapery in some places. Mm-hmm. You know, we use this mouse a lot. It's not losing any of its paint like this mm-hmm. one is. Okay, the Kova um, is not losing the paint. The it, scroll wheel is markedly nicer. Okay. Yeah, it does have a much nicer scroll wheel, um, and uh, I don't know if I'd say the click action is like way better or anything. No, uh, lighter. But um, the different. side buttons are probably a little bit, you know, more. They're bigger and beefier, and probably and a little easier the, the access. But like, uh, you know, something to note is the, this actually this fifty dollar mouse is also an optical mouse, so you're not getting a laser sensor with this one. Um, so you're paying fifty dollars. It really, so far, what I'm hearing, it has about the same features as. The cheaper mouse, maybe it feels a little bit sturdier, feels a little bit nicer. Buttons are a little bit bigger, but other yeah. than that, functionality, functionally, it's mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's definitely whether or not it's worth it. It's kind of like it's like well, how much? Of, I guess it's kind of like how much is your money worth to you? I mean, you know, if like you spend five times. This the is nicer, like in you know, it is only forty dollars more, so it's not like you know, you're emptying out your savings account for this. We reviewed this mouse very well. We like the fact it's ambidextrous and all that. But uh, on the other hand, like, you know, this mice is not, mouse is not so bad. Um, I, th- I think this was a testament to when these arrived that we were, we had been sort of joking about this and oh, these are going to be so junky. And when these arrived, we were immediately surprised by how not bad they were. That like They these came out of the box end. and I put my hand on one and I was like, wow, this I expected this to be really chintzy and dumb, but it actually feels okay. Like, yeah, I didn't really expect them to work very well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so far they're working just as well as that as this Rocat Kova. Mm-hmm. I mean, effectively, yeah. Like, yeah. I if you like load up a game of Overwatch and you had this one or this one, I don't think it would make a difference. Like, you would be doing as well with one as the other. Okay, let's take a look at some of these other higher end ones here. I'm just trying to see where the difference is, where the advantage is in paying this. Because so far, from what everything that I've learned from this that you guys are saying. Might as well go with a cheap mouse and find one that, that fits your feel. I mean, you may have to test around till you find one that you like the grip of it, but otherwise, yeah. these cheap ones work. So is there something – let's see. Which one are we taking a look so at now? we now? got the uh, Logitech Prodigy. The Logitech Prodigy. The G403. Which, Logitech, known for their mice. Right. Um, this one we didn't give such a favorable review to. Um, it actually – 
it does feel a little on the chintzy side, I think, is part of the problem. Um, and how much is the lot? Oh, we're looking at You're looking at the price now. I, I, I believe it's uh, $70. Yeah, it's it's Damn. kind of on the expensive That's side. That's how much it was when we reviewed, when we reviewed it. it. Uh, so I'm just going to confirm. It's $70 still mouse. Much. It's not Bluetooth or anything like that, which I no. wouldn't, wouldn't expect. But um, okay. Yeah, it's $70. And like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, $70. So what are you getting for $70? You are getting RGB LEDs. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this, this is kind of a um, – you're getting RGB LEDs, just this right here, and a stripe on the scroll wheel. So and you're just talking about the LEDs, just that's it? Just yeah, and especially – bells and whistles? And these ones, unlike some of the other mice we had, the these undercoat? are tinted blue. So, like, if you turn it on to the white color option in the software, you do get software. That is, you know, the Rock had a software, the Logitech has software where these other companies don't. Um, but there's a, a blue tint on there. All right. Um, is that even, I was even looking like these are kind of peeling back the corners by the front of the mouse. Um, so yeah. like you were saying, like reliability and durability is is not a – it's not a sure thing when you spend more on a mouse. It really isn't. Yeah. I mean I would say it's actually kind of remarkable how – Similar the plastics on these two mice, and we're comparing the Technet feel. Raptor with the Logitech. Uh, the Technet Raptor does feel a little more hollow, like I mentioned earlier. It has kind of a you when you drop it, it kind of like rattles a little bit. <laughs> that one rattles too. That one rattles too. Well, there you go. All I, right. Like we we didn't give this one a great review, <laughs> and uh, it is ergonomic, but yeah, like this is definitely something you'd be looking at and be like, I don't know exactly why I spent that much money on it. So seventy dollars for that Logitech does yeah. not sound like it's so, worth it. So let's go. Let's Raptor. go now to the really high end. Okay, the really so this high is end the stuff. super high end. Now I'm still waiting to find out what you get with the super high. Don't get the Mad Cats out here. Yeah, too. there's this one. That uh, I do want to talk about just because of the appearance of it. Yeah, uh, but let's let's. Which one are we going to go to first here? Um, let's talk about the Nith first. That's okay. Quicker. So, now, um, what's the what's the actual? So this is, is also a Rockat or Rocat mouse, um, and this is their Nith, which is I believe one hundred and twenty dollars, or at least when we reviewed it, one hundred and twenty dollars uh, for a mouse. Okay. And uh, and one of the nice things about this one is it's an MMO mouse, so you can see you've got this big grid of buttons here. And so actually, are... this is the best part right here. This is really fun. Uh, if I get this in the camera, you can actually. I can get it open. Boom! All the buttons come out. Oh, you and, can. Okay, uh, so you can. So you can actually use a little box, and you can so put just, your own button. So just to describe this, on the now I'm starting to see the difference. So on the left hand side of the mouse, there's a bunch of different, essentially a grid of twelve boxes, and you can set your own single or double keys or no keys, and you can yeah. sort of make your own Mix pattern and, and then assign them how you want. So I just now destroyed that's it. something I can see is worth. Yeah, yeah. yeah so also, I had like you know abilities up here for gaming, and then I had music controls down below in a third row, and um, it's okay. also you know it's also got swappable side piece if you want to get like a different size. It's got a really nice scroll wheel. It's got this little fin, which I didn't like at first. Um, and the fin is in the center. There's in a between. fin right behind the scroll wheel, yeah, that, uh -huh. that actually clicks left and right. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. You can use that as a back and forward. Uh, and then it has a shift button. It has this little tiny button next to the left click where you can hold that, and it's like holding shift on your keyboard. Now all your keys do something different. Now that definitely shows some functionality. That's yeah. and, and, and being customizable like that, I can see where that's a huge advantage. It's also great because if you're like in the middle of a, a raid or something mm -hmm. in like World of Warcraft and you're you're screwing up, you can just be like, Oh, my mouse fell apart, and just dump all the buttons <laughs> off of it, and be like, "Oh, nope, nope." Uh, sorry, guys. Like, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Um, Good if you want to rage quit too. Yeah. Just so, how much off. was this one, Brad? I think it was. I think it was a hundred and twenty dollars, I believe, but I, I can verify that. Yeah. So for one hundred and twenty dollars, you're getting a lot of customization on it. It sounds like it's a pretty sturdy mouse. Yeah. That that definitely sounds like that is an advantage, and if you're really into that, that would be worth paying that much more, one hundred and ten dollars more than these ten dollars mice. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen something that even seems worth it. Yeah, it's, to a, go that it's about a hundred dollars. About a hundred dollars. About a hundred dollars. Uh, so, the, finally, we've got this other super high end mouse here, and this one it looks like it's a transformer. I don't know what the the design is pretty incredible, and I'm, I'm to describe this to anybody listening via podcast. I I don't even know where it would begin. It's sort of like a transform. It's like well, a Decepticon. It's, a, it's, a, it's yeah, the it's the it's the, sure. it's the Mad Cats uh, Rat Pro, Pro Rat Pro R A T. X. Uh, which actually stands, they say it doesn't stand for anything now. It used to stand for really awesome tech. The mad. Uh, so there you go. Mm -hmm. The mad cat. Um, it's the bad boy, the and mouse this is, world. Like the other one, this is also completely modular, so you can pop okay. off the back piece where your arm rests and or your uh, palm rests, and you can put on different sizes and different heights. Uh, you can pull off the buttons on the left side and put on different angled buttons. Okay. There's a little pinky hook on the right side you can take off. There's different 
um, you know, slides for the bottom so you can get different resistance. And then you can even pop out the sensor and put in your own sensor, which is pretty neat um, if you decide you want something a little different or you want something with a higher sensitivity and lower DPI, you can just pop that out. So that's really customizable. It's really yeah, customizable. Really it. And it looks kind of funky, but I will say that, like, it's, it's pleasantly comfortable um, or surprisingly comfortable. Uh, mostly because they seem to have put protrusions on the part where your hand normally rests, mm -hmm. so you don't notice that there's all this extra empty space inside. Yeah, uh, which helps keep it kind of now. Lighter. Now, how much is that mouse going for? This is also a, quite an expensive mouse. I think it was 150 when we I first it got was. it. 150 bucks. Uh, I don't know if it's still that. They also they also are known um, for making a the Rat Pro One, which is also has a removable back piece and a uh, removable sensor. And is only like twenty dollars or so. Uh, okay. Well, this okay. So this one actually has gone out of production. It looks like so it's currently like two hundred fifty-two dollars on Amazon mm -hmm. because that's what happens when things go out of production. People Damn. put absurd prices on them for some reason. So, um, but you can get slimmer mice from Mad Cats. It's yeah. Yeah. one of their. I'm main, sure they have a newer main version. lines. They yeah. in fact, I think it was like maybe last month they came out with like their new lineup, and there's like five. Okay. From like a base one that doesn't do any adjustments to. The one like this, which is super customizable. But on average, you'll probably find one about like that for $150. Yeah. I Ish. Somewhere in that range. So definitely, you know, a lot more than the $10 mouse. But you do get a lot of functionality and, and customization mm -hmm. with that one. So there's there's the advantage in that. Um, but now we're doing this. We're looking at the, you know, these super low-end mice versus the very high-end. And that's, is this as the top-of-the-line mouse that you could buy? Or is, does it go even higher than that? That's pretty much the top of the line. Okay, $150, yeah. the yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, range. I okay. think MMO mice, um, again, if you're playing games like WoW and you need or you want, you know, a dozen buttons under your thumb, those mm. tend to be kind of the most expensive because you oftentimes have a set of mechanical switches under yeah. the left thumb. And so if you're really that hardcore and want to go for that, <laughs> then that's where you would yeah. have to. Yeah, and, and there's also another side of it, which is, like, things like the Razer Mamba mouse, which is um, up to 150 if you get the wireless one and that one doesn't have any of these customizable traits but it's just it's built to be really really high quality feel mm -hmm. and um you know it, it focuses more on that than on customization uh although the customization is something that has become really popular as of late with the high-end mice so yeah. and especially with those ones razor i think has one of the better color scheming like their chroma system is you know for what it's worth i don't really yeah i, I mean none of the devices i use at home have lights in them because I mean, I use like a DOS keyboard that's totally blank. I don't need lights on it. Um, but yeah, I will he's, say he's that pretty like, hardcore. Guys. I love my DOS keyboard. <laughs> his, his, um, his keyboard doesn't even have letters but, on it. Well, but I mean, like even the Logitech has like a blue tint. Like if you turn on, you know, yellow, it's going to show up green. Yeah. And and that sort of thing. Whereas like you know some of the banding they have is really cool looking. Um, Rock Hat does a really good job too. But again, like it's just you know this little part in the back and this little line at the bottom. You don't often see it. Yeah. yeah. When your hands on the mouse, you really don't see. Well, and are you really paying that much attention to it anyway no. when, you're, when you're in the middle of a game? All right, so, so juxtaposing these. And again, if you are watching and you have some questions on mice, please let us know. Drop them into the chat and I'll get to it. But as we kind of get down to this, you know, we've looked at these high-end ones. These $10 mice are the top sellers on Amazon. Thousands of reviews for some of them, and most all of them seem to have positive reviews. What are your thoughts on this? I mean, I guess the, the bottom line is $10 mouse, uh, yes or no? Brad, what do you think? I think for most people, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't think – I think a lot of these are good options. Um, you know, they're not going to last you forever, but especially if you're just trying to get into PC gaming, it's a really good way to, like, try out a mouse for a while, see how it fits you mm -hmm. um, without breaking the bank. Uh, I think personally I like to have multiple buttons under my thumb. I like to have – six or more so i i have a moba mouse at home that i use uh for other games because i like having a lot of buttons mm -hmm. but that's a personal thing okay but for a casual gamer for a casual game, gamer i think yeah as long as you're not i think people who play mmos probably would want something with more buttons but you can probably find i, I don't think we looked but you could probably find a 20 30 dollar cheap mouse with like yeah, six I think buttons actually on there are them. some on there we, we just didn't get them because they were a little more expensive and they didn't quite fit what yeah we were what you're doing here with the roundup i would say yes um you know, definitely, like, this is a fine mouse. It may last you even as long as some of the more expensive mice. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I don't know. Like, just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's going to be reliable. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, like, the one thing I would would point out is it, I feel like there's you should either get the cheap one or get the expensive one. And, like, it's sort Let's of the middle ground the middle. That, that's, that makes less sense. Mm -hmm. And by that, I don't – I mean, like, you know, $20, 30 40 $50 – Six, or maybe in some of the, the less impressive $60 or $70 mice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for that, like, 
I don't know. Having seen these, like, I'm not really sure what you're getting. Mm-hmm. It, like, when you get to the high, high end, um, it's, it becomes more obvious. You get the customizable buttons, and you get, like, really cool customizable lights, or you yeah. get, like, a really nice uh, design, like something like the Razor Death Adder Elite, which is when we think is, like, really nice ergonomic design that uh, you don't see with any other mouse. Sure. Um, but, like, yeah, if you were saying, like, I've got 40 bucks, I'm not sure what spending $40 would get you that you wouldn't get for $10 more or less. Yeah. Um, and that, that being the case, like, yeah, these make sense. I can see why they are the most popular bestsellers on Amazon. Well, you're not out that much. It's decide. not that people are just being silly, yeah. you yeah. know? Like, I mean, people people tend to be a little cheap, you know? When you look at Amazon, like, people mm-hmm. tend to go for the cheap thing, and sometimes that's like, ooh, like, that's probably not working out so well for you. Like, if you look at televisions, like, you'll see yeah. some pretty awful televisions that are really popular on Amazon, and you just kind of, like... You know, I don't know. Like, I've got a few friends that have those televisions, and I go over. I'm like, "How do you even look at that? Like, oh, on a daily basis? <laughs> like, how I, do you wake up in the morning? <clears throat> yeah, like, how, yeah, how do you how do you wake up in the morning and look at that television? <laughs> but uh, with the with the mice, like, it's you know, it seems like it makes it's not sense. Bad. Yeah, I think you're much better off spending ten bucks on one of these than you are spending ten or twenty bucks on like a, an Amazon Basics non gaming. Oh mouse. yeah, definitely. Like that one of those because like we we <laughs> have like we you know these are fine. We've used bad mice. Like, Which Amazon Basics, I you know that, some other stuff is good. That they have a mouse that's like one of the best sellers. Yeah, and it's like two buttons, ten bucks. It's like I don't get the point. You might as well go with a game. Yeah, why yeah, why have more two buttons, buttons when you well can have seven? Might as well get DPI. Seven is a two. larger number than two. Okay, all it's right. It's just math. <laughs> it's just math yes. is the bottom line. All right, so there, so there we go. So the $10 mice, worth it. Yeah. Worth it if this is what you're looking for. Otherwise, if you want to get something gaming, go super high end. Super high end or the $10, skip the middle mm-hmm. is yeah. essentially the, the rule of thumb that I've That's like a here. bottle of wine, right? You want to buy like the second, <laughs> the second least expensive bottle or the really or nice Gaming mouse yeah. is like a bottle of wine. Yeah, all right. There we go. That Finally, we got that good comparison in there. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, everybody, for tuning in today. So this is Close to the Metal. We do this show live. Uh, we're now doing it on Tuesdays, 10 a.m. Pacific time, live on YouTube. And you can uh, tune in, let us know what you think, give us your comments. You can always watch the video afterward or listen to the podcast. I highly suggest that if you go to iTunes or Stitcher, wherever you get your podcasts. We've got tons of back episodes on there, each one focusing on a different aspect of computing, whether it's GPUs. I think last week we did uh, the MacBook Pro. Yeah, last t- uh, week we slammed the MacBook Pro. Yeah, good, we, so. <laughs> yeah, so you want to hear that. Uh, you want to hear their opinions. You want to hear the the you know how they're diagnosing these things and what, what they think of these. So definitely go there. Check that out. Send us an email anytime you want. Podcast at digitaltrends.com. Again, close to the metal. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with another episode. Thank you.